and welcome back to my channel. As many of you may know, I launched a Kickstarter project a couple weeks ago for my Animal Crossing embroidery pins. Thank you so much to all of you who supported my project. Right now, I'm getting ready to ship all of the orders out, so I'm going to be taking you behind the scenes as I prepare everything for shipment. Let's go! I've set up an extra desk in my room so that I can lay out all 27 designs from my Kickstarter project, which I think will really streamline the packing process. And I'm also going to set out some of these boxes so I can organize different things I'll be needing. These are the scubs or scoops from IKEA. I've had them forever and I love using them to organize things when I'm at conventions, markets, or craft fairs because they're collapsible, easy to store, and they're super lightweight. I've also got these, which are also from IKEA. This one is called Stuck or Stuk. They're kind of like the cousins of the scub or the scoop. <laughs> They're also collapsible, but they have an extra compartment separator thingy, which I think makes them a lot more versatile and more awesome. Plus it has this cute grid pattern, which I love. Sometimes I use them upside down as a raised platform to display my pins when I'm selling things in person. Next, I'll be needing some postage stamps, of course, my address stamp so I don't have to write my address a million times, some more stamps of different values, and of course, my trusty logo stamp. I'll definitely also need my pins. They're the star of the show and I can't wait to show them to you. And here, my friends, are 3,000 gift bags. It's so freaking big, I have no idea where I'm going to put these, but they're looking super cute. And I'm just glad that I have enough for everyone who's backed my project, because it's no good when you run out of something and then everyone has to wait. I really wanted these bags to be the way that I package my pins because I love it when people give each other wrapped gifts in the game. They just look so cute. I love that they're also reusable, so if anyone needs to store their pins somewhere when they're not using them, this could be their little pin bag, or they can be reused to wrap actual gifts for other people during the holiday. So my plan is to put all the bugs and insects in one box and the sea creatures in the other box and all the fruits and tools in the last box. to be transferring all the bags over to my little scub or scoob on my desk instead so that I can use the basket to store the completed orders. This way the bags will always be within reach. By the way, did you know that if you wrap a gift in the game and gift it to your villager, you gain a bonus friendship point? And if you give them a fruit as a gift, that will also raise your friendship faster. So you might want to try gift wrapping fruits and giving them to your villager. They might give you something back in return. I was actually so happy that everything pretty much arrived within a few days from each other. The timing could not have been more perfect. The only thing that I was missing was just the stickers, which was experiencing some shipping delays. The first thing to arrive was actually the cards from Vistaprint. They turned out really nice. The smaller fruit cards came in a box, which is super awesome for me because I love reusing packaging as storage solutions. What I usually do is I cut off the flaps on the sides so that all you're left with is the box. Now I can either put this on my desk to hold all the cards or I could put it in my drawer as an extra storage compartment. Here's 
the land collector's card for bugs and insects. The sea collector's card for sea creatures. And last but not least, the fruit card. All the orders come with corresponding stickers so you can keep track of which animals you've collected on the back of these cards. I was packing some orders and realized that the smaller orders were actually really flat in the gift bag, so I ordered some paper wormies to puff up the bag a bit. I've got an extra basket here matching the one I was using earlier. I got these from HomeSense. I feel like when I usually shop at HomeSense or Winners, there's never multiples of the same thing in the same size. So I felt super lucky that I was able to get three of these. I also bought some larger mailers for larger orders. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any of my usual mailers in this size because my usual mailers are 100% compostable. But luckily, these are still recyclable. The recycling depots that accept plastic bags will usually also accept bubble mailers as well. I started off my packing process by stamping all my mailers first, but it turns out that these smaller mailers don't really fit the puffy gift bags that well, so I ended up swapping to my slightly larger mailers for the Kickstarter orders. These I'll use later for my regular orders. Speaking of which, I've been running some sales over on my shop. Thank you so much to all of you who have been shopping my sale. I actually meant to post this studio vlog last week, but I got so busy with orders, I didn't even have time to finish up the editing. So I'll try to post two videos this week if I can. I tend to spend way too much time editing, writing and rewriting scripts, animating pictures and illustrations, adjusting lighting and colors, trying to make everything look more pretty and enjoyable for everyone. Let me know in the comments down below how long you think I spend on average per week filming and editing. I'll reveal the answer in the next video. Speaking of upcoming videos, I'm planning to try doing Vlogmas, where I vlog every day in December until Christmas. I've never done anything like that before, and I'm honestly not the best at daily challenges, but I'd like to give it a go anyway. I think the content I'll be making will be a lot more chill and laid back, a little bit more everyday stuff along with some Christmas things rather than all completely art related. I'd love it if you could join me, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Since the stickers haven't arrived yet, I decided to print and cut my own. This way I could get started on the orders. I really wanted everyone in North America at least to receive these before Christmas, so any kind of head start here is great. I love the quality of prints and stickers my printer produces, but the Cricut, on the other hand, is kind of a hit or a miss. It took a few tries to get the alignment right, but it's definitely a good start. And I'm glad to have a cutting machine around for situations like this where I'm just waiting for stickers to arrive. The machine is actually pretty good when it comes to its print then cut function, but the downside is that the print then cut dimensions are quite a bit smaller than the sticker paper actually is, so it always feels like a waste to me. This is why I'm trying to print and cut a whole sheet here instead. It still works, but it does take a bit of calibration. For the stickers, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to stick the stickers on the cards for everyone or chop everything up and put them in the gift bags for everyone to decorate their own cards. I kind of did a bit of both to start, but after talking to my sister, we've decided that it's probably more fun for everyone to decorate their own cards. So if you're one of the backers that I've stuck the stickers on for, I'm so sorry. Hopefully you'll still have fun unboxing your goodies. I didn't have any containers to organize the stickers with, and it felt too messy to put them with the pins. So I ended up emptying one of my button boxes so I can have a little storage system for everything. I basically consolidated the two boxes of buttons into one box, so that I was left with one empty one in the end.
might have shared these in my studio tour, but I decorate all my button boxes with stickers. Both of these are from Puffy Fish, a local artist that I really like. So to separate all the different stickers, I first used my paper cutter to divide up all the columns and then the rows, but then I realized it's way faster to cut the strips with a scissor instead, so I swapped afterwards. Since the bags are a little bit bigger than I thought they would be, I decided to fold up the bottom which actually gives the pins a little bit more cushioning, making the bags a little bit puffier and way cuter than before. The ribbons on these bags were actually really hard to tie together at first, but after a few tries it does get a bit easier. Look how cute they are, they look just like the wrapped gifts from Animal Crossing. If you've seen any of my other vlogs before, then you'll know that I customize all my envelopes with the name of the recipients. When I'm selling online, I don't get as many opportunities to interact with everyone as much as I would if I were to set up a booth at a market. And I feel like by doing this, it adds that extra personal touch. Kind of to say, this item is coming from me to you. And I want that experience to feel different than if it were to come from some big corporation. I want everyone to feel extra special whenever they receive one of these packages. Which is why I also personalize all my shipping messages with everyone's names. It's not a lot, but I do hope that these little things give everyone a little bit of extra happiness in their daily lives. I'm not really sure if I'm able to do this on backer kit, but I'm going to try and figure it out to see what I can do. I hope you guys all enjoyed that. If you're preparing your own Kickstarter project, please let me know down below and I'll go check it out. If Kickstarter is something that you are interested in and you would like me to share more about what goes on in the planning process, please let me know in the comments down below. If you liked this video, please give me a like so that I know. And I do post weekly content, so please make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for staying tuned. I hope you're all well. See you all next week.